Got him. Hooked up. Bobber down, baby. Rainbow on. Not a giant, but scrappy. Got me right in the heavy current right now. <laughs> Try to get him in the slack water here. Knew it should work. Let's see if we can get him in and bring him back. Oh, he's not done yet. Little chroma. Oh, it popped off. No. No. Single barbless hooks. You're not going to catch them all, that's for sure. That was a good little fight, though. All right, guys, just hooked up on the first rainbow. Um, fishing the Columbia River today. It's like November 7th, I think. Um, trying something new. It's float fishing here. So I just got a, a Phil Pro Series float. Looks like it's about four and a half inches long. Um, swivel and then a liter of about I don't know 30 inches of fluorocarbon eight pound running an eight downs jig and chartreuse got to pinch the barb and then I just cured some um, some shrimp with uh, Potsky's uh, fire powder or something I'll, I'll leave a link in the description I use this Potsky powder in the hive is pink to uh, cure shrimp for kokanee fishing and thought I'd try it for trout today and uh, about the eighth cast, bobber down, missed the first one and then boom, hit it again. So anyway, we'll keep trying, see if we can get a few more. Um, hopefully we can keep one button. It's tough with the single barbless hooks, sometimes they just tear free. So. Alright guys, spent about a half an hour or so at the first spot. Hooked into that one nice little 15-16 inch chromer rainbow. Got a button right at the shore. So we're going to try a new spot here. The new uh, float fishing with the shrimp should work. Um, I've always wanted to try it. The first time I've ever really tried it. I tried it with flies and it works with flies. So uh, Anyway, hopefully this new little eddy right here holds a few fish. Let's find out. Sure, though. Might be a bigger fish. Oh, there he goes. Drags nice and loose. We're just going to take our time with this one. Fuck her right out. He's going straight up against the current. Whoa, 
rod's got a nice soft tip. It's not the longest rod. Nice nine footer or something of a fly rod with a spinning reel tape to it would be a better choice, but I thought I'd just give this a shot. I wasn't even sure if it was gonna work, but it's working pretty good. This is the second fish today. This one's definitely bigger than the first. I'm gonna go downstream, see if I can get him into this eddy out of the current. So breaking my neck, rocks. does not want to give up. Got him in the eddy now. Tighten the drag a little bit. Ooh. Good fish. Good fish. I have to be light on the drag because it's on a very long rod. It's only so much give in that tip and the rest is all backbone. More my walleye rod. Holy. My arm's getting sore. I haven't even seen the fish yet. Switch arms. Oh, this is crazy. Going back out in the current. Try to get him over here in this pocket. This is crazy. Drag a little bit. Make them work a little bit. Scrapper. Oh, nice colorful one. Wow. I think I got him in the tail. <laughs> that would explain why he's fighting so hard. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I got him in the tail. But he is not going to quit. He's basically swimming straight away from me the whole time, so I can't turn him. Yeah, right in the tip of the tail. That is bizarre. That's a beauty, though. <laughs> Get this guy in. Sorry for this hook. I'm surprised I didn't pop out. Look at that fish. Holy, it's gorgeous. Got him right in the freaking tail. Look at that. Hang on, buddy. Gorgeous fish. Look at that. Wow, let that guy go. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. Let this guy go. I don't know what he did, if he took a swipe out or what, but I've never caught a fish right through the center of the tail like that before. Anyway, that was a great little fight. You can do that again.